Good morning, friends. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is New Year's Eve, Eve, Eve. Or something close to that. <laughs> ah, it is a, an amazing, the week between Christmas and New Year's. For many, it's still a holiday. Uh, I have good friends that are that are uh, not working right now, that are in the midst of um, their, their, their week off. And uh, what a beautiful time to devote to prayer for our nation. Because our nation is in a serious state of in-betweenness right now. We, we, uh, we don't still know for sure we believe who's going to be our president for the next four years. In my heart, I I want to say I know, but it's it's a it's a almost tidal wave uh, that we're facing. But there's no tidal wave. <laughs> it's like if you're God, this is the earth. So no tidal wave is a problem for God. No no enemy can stand against the Lord Almighty. So when we pray, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, we can do so joyfully. We can do so almost laughing because we know that our eternity is secure. In the short run, we don't have a promise of a life without hardship we don't have a promise of a life without suffering look at look at the founders look at look at uh you know hebrews chapter 11 chapter 12 the, there are those who were greatly tested for their faith but you know what is unassailable when you're uh sheltered in the most high when you're when you're comforted by the great shepherd when you're standing in Christ, when you're surrounded by that great cloud of witnesses or crowd of witnesses, crowd of cloud, <laughs> no one can assail your joy. No one can assail your peace of mind. So we pray with faith. We pray with confidence. We pray with absolute hope. And we pray believing that God's got us in the palm of his hands. I'm not giving up. I, I believe with all my heart that righteousness will prevail. I believe with all my heart that uh, wrongdoing will be exposed and, and that through this hardship, it is the church that has in many ways, not in every way, but in many ways, awakened the church is praying. Good morning, Missy. Welcome to Pray for America, 714. 14 minutes of prayer for America, for our president, and for the results of the 2020 election based out of Second Chronicles 714, which says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal their land. What a joy. What a joy to believe in the word of God. What a joy to apply the word of God. You know, pity the fool. <laughs> pity the fool. Pity the fool who has no faith in the scriptures. I feel sorry for people who have no hope in this life. They, they have no future. They have no uh, promise of eternal life. So sad. Where is their anchor in life? We have such an anchor. We have such an anchor. And uh, we are in Christ. I mean, it's just astonishing. Those who have given their lives to Christ are one with him. One. 
O-N-E, one with Christ. It's just humongous. And so when we come before him, as we are about to do, to pray for our president, our prayers are powerful. In fact, our prayers are so powerful. Do you know what happened yesterday morning on this show? We had a, we had a, uh, well, a, a miraculous healing. My, my friend, Tim Emerson, right there. Tim, good morning. Tim had some uh, really uh, serious pain in his foot due to a bone spur. And, you know, when, when we were praying for y'all to be healed, uh, those that need it, I have my eyes closed. I was just praying. And for some reason, I just said, and if you have pain in your foot, be healed in the name of Jesus. I don't know. That just popped into my head. I guess it was from the Lord because Tim had some serious pain going on in his foot. And and his uh, testimony to me was more spurts. <laughs> Tim, you're killing me. Um, was that as I prayed that, he had his hand. Did you have your hand on your foot, Tim? I, But he was praying for his foot and praying for healing as we were praying for healing. And instantly, the pain vanished. It went away. And he felt for that bone spur that he apparently previously could could detect or could feel. And it was gone. It was just gone, just vanished. So that is the power of God released when people have faith and pray. Jesus said to so many people as he prayed for them, your faith has made you whole. So let your faith rise that as we pray, God will do for you what he did for Tim. He's no respecter of persons. And let us uh, let our faith rise for the presidential election as well. We are simply asking God for a righteous outcome, that the actual legal votes of the American people would be counted and that all illegal votes, obviously, who wouldn't want that, would not be counted. Unless the only reason you would not want that is if you're not looking for what's legal, you're looking for something different than that. So that's nobody here for sure. So let's go before the Lord. Let's, let's, okay, that's us behind my head. That's all of us on our horses, full of faith, full of joy, running to the Father, rock, rock, galloping to the Father, and jumping off our horses and running into his arms to receive mercy and help in our time of need. Oh God, we do. We run to you, Father. We come to you with joy in our hearts, knowing that our sins have been forgiven. Lord, when you sacrificed your life for us on the cross, you did something that we did not deserve. You did it not because we earned it in any way, Lord. You did it because your love is just that deep for your people. And so we run to you, Father. We bury our head in your robe with great, great love and affection. And we say, good morning, Lord. Holy is your name. Oh, Jesus, your prayer to your Father, as you taught your disciples to pray, our Father who art in heaven, holy is your name. Hallowed be thy name. Lord, we declare your righteousness. We declare your lordship over the planet Earth and all of the universe. You are perfect in all your ways. You've never made a mistake. If I find myself arguing with God, guess who's wrong? Lord, anytime I start a sentence with, but Lord, like I'm going to inform you of something you don't know. <laughs> Silly me. Humble themselves and pray. Lord, we do humble ourselves and pray. Father, we recognize, even as we are in your presence right now, that we are there because of your work on our behalf. You have forgiven our sins. Therefore, we have access, access to you, Lord. Not only do we have access to you, your word says we are seated with you in heavenly places. Your word says that we have become one with you, that we are in you, and you 
are in us. There's incredible, perfect unity between us. There is no space between us, Lord. We are one with you. So from that position in you, we cry out that you would save America. Save America, Lord, we, we pray. All of us, we pray. Save our country, Lord. Save our country for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of those who don't know you yet, for the sake of the missionaries that we will send out in the future. Lord, save us, save our nation by causing a very simple, righteous judgment on the 2020 election. Dear God, we pray that all evil would be exposed regarding the 2020, well, regarding everything, but specifically, we are praying for the election of 2020. Lord, it could be that there's no contest with the Senate. It could be that if all if all righteous votes were counted and all illegal votes were dismissed, we would have a clear majority in the Senate. I, I believe that. I have no evidence of that. There's lots of evidence on the presidential election, thousands of affidavits, or at least over a thousand. I don't want to exaggerate. I don't need to. There's so much evidence. Lord, let happen your will. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it always is in heaven. Dear God, there are those that say everything is on track, that there is a script playing out and Jesus is lording over the earth and America. And Lord, we, we believe that, we accept that, we, we expect that. And we thank you, Father, that you've got the whole world in your hands, as the song says. We've got this in you. Everything is yes and amen. We know that when we pray, we're not praying to somebody. Lord, your, your back is not turned to us. Father, you are not like looking down with a scowl on your face, trying to, we're not trying to talk you into a good mood, Lord. No, you are a kind, loving Savior with a kind, loving Father. Jesus, you lifted the eyes of the prostitute as she wept in your on your feet and dried your feet with her hair. Lord, you are so kindly disposed to us and so is God the Father because you are the exact representation of the Father. And your loving sacrifice for us is all the indication that we need of who the father is. The story of the prodigal son, where the father sees the son, and instead of condemning him for all the wrong he's done, he runs to him. He runs to him. He drops his pipe on the porch and just bolts off the porch and runs to his son and quickly says, quick, Bring out my royal robe, put my ring on his finger, and kill the fatted calf, for my son who was lost has come home. That's you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Daddy God. Thank you, Daddy God. Hallelujah. And now, Father, we, we turn to our president, President Trump, and we pray, Lord, gather around him. Lord, gather around him angels and protection over him, his wife, Melania, his cabinet members, Vice President Pence, and the vital role that he may play in this entire saga. Lord, Karen Pence, please protect them, Father God. Protect everyone involved in leadership in this country, all governors, mayors, Lord, all uh, state senators, congressmen, Lord, our, 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 our judges, Father, I'll cause them to rule righteously. Lord, 
we're watching from the cheap seats. We don't know what's going on. We don't know why no court will listen to what appears so obviously to be uh, valid evidence. I mean, we read it, we hear it, we, we watch the videos of the testimonies of people who have sworn that these statements are true under penalty of perjury, and and they just are credible to our ears. And yet, why is it that no court will hear them? Don't know, but you know. So we cry out, God, give us righteous judgment regarding the 2020 election. Thank you, Lord. Lord, expose, expose, expose. In Ephesians 5, it says, have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them. So we pray, God, our job, we, we, we're not in the middle of it all, but we are here to pray that you will expose and that those who are involved, those who know how to do this, we pray, we pray for protection over Rudy and Sydney and, uh, and all who are working hard to obey the biblical command to expose these um, abnormalities in the vote, these uh, nefarious activities. And having prayed, stand. Lord, we will continue to ask. We will continue to seek. We will continue to bombard heaven with our requests until we see the fruit of our labor play out. But we do so in faith. We do so believing, knowing that you will act on our behalf because there's more than just us. Millions more. People around the world are praying for America. And we join our voices with them, lifting our hearts to heaven, knowing that our prayers go into that bowl, the prayers of the saints, mixed with incense, and you hear us. You hear us, Lord. It's, it's a big deal. It's not an, we're not imagining things here. We're not. We are with you, Lord, right now. There's a separation in our physicality, but not really. In the spirit realm, we are with you. We are with you. You're never apart from us. You're in us. Lord, I pray that you would close the gap between faith and unbelief that we would all sense the reality of the fact that we are with you, seated with you in heavenly places, you in us and we in you, inseparable. And we close this prayer, Heavenly Father, believing that you will respond to the righteous prayers of your people who have humbled themselves, turned from our wicked ways, sought your face, and believed that you would hear from heaven, forgive our sin, and heal our land. We believe it. No matter what, no matter what accusations or threats, no matter what the enemy says, we can ignore him, just like Nehemiah ignored Sanballat and Tobiah. Oh, the threats they, the threats they waged. None of it came to pass. Evil Haman threatened and even predicted the demise of all the Jewish people, even told his people, kill them all on this day. And you rescued them. Lord, you will rescue us. Yes, you will. 
Hallelujah. But like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, even if we don't, even if you don't, yet will we praise you. Amen. <sighs> Glory. Good times, folks. Good times of prayer. This is phenomenal. Let's close praying for healing. Tim, I'm going to put that on the screen if I can figure out how. You know, it's funny. I can put Mamey's comment, amen, amen, on the screen, but the little button below your remarks that allow me to put this on the screen are not here. Somebody else say something. Maybe if this moves up in the window, the button will be there. But I agree with you. God is on the move. These prayers are getting stronger, more articulate, and it's because of God. It's because of God. Well, let's pray. Healing. Dear God, I lift up. Well, let me just tell you what Tim said. That button's not there. He said, we clearly saw God's power made manifest through our prayers. I think it could be a sign he's going to take action with this prayer as well. Amen. Well, you all saw that. I didn't have to read it to you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll figure this all out. Well, do 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 help your your brothers and sisters by sharing this show that they might join us, that our little ragtag army would grow, because we are in a war. Yes, we are. It's a war in the heavenlies, and there we are with our with our Winchesters and our six guns spiritual weapons that are mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. Yes, they are. Hallelujah. Well, Father, those of us on the show who are afflicted, we ask for your healing. Lord, in humility, we obey you when you said, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, cast out demons. Father, right now, we pray for healing over those in our midst dealing with cancer. And there are many on this program that you have brought here. Heal them. In the name of Jesus, I say to you, be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you for the good reports that we're getting of people receiving healing. Dear God, I pray that you would continue to release healing on this show and in your people, in Jesus' name. Father, for my friends, Mike and Cindy, heal them. For my friend, Andy, heal him. Lord, for Karen, Diane, and everyone who is dealing with any sort of malady, may they be healed in Jesus' name. And for some reason, just a very bad cold is coming to my mind. And whoever is dealing with a very bad cold, be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you guys. Have a great, amazing morning. And we'll see you this afternoon at 5 o'clock for the John Morgan Show. Humor, passion, and perspective on Christmas Eve, Eve, Eve. <laughs> God bless you guys. And God bless America. <laughs>